Hi love bugs, it's Jen and in today's video we're going to unbox a brand new curling iron that I got from Skin Store. I love working with Skin Store. They have some really good products, great customer service, and I absolutely love them. This is a curling iron that I've been dying to try from Chi, so we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna give you a little bit more information and then we will do a tutorial. My goal in the tutorial is to create kind of a softer, um, almost like a vintage type of look from like the 40s or the 50s. So hang with me, let's check this out together and let's style my silver hair. And if that sounds interesting and you wanna follow along with me, then hang tight. Right, so first I have completely washed and conditioned my hair and I'm gonna use the keratin hair drops. I'm also gonna use a little bit of this keratin mousse and then I'm gonna do just a quick blow dry. Quick, no brushes nothing just to get it dry all right i am really excited to open this up with you guys so this is from the company chi and this is the tourmaline ceramic series heated round brush 1.25 let's read the back of the box together it says tourmaline ceramic technology reduces static and frizz for a healthier shinier look it says heat resistant bristles spaced evenly to prevent knots and tangles it's got an lcd temperature setting up to 410 degrees for all hair types and a 360 degree swivel cord for tangle-free styling and optimal convenience. Here's all their social media handles. And uh, this is from Skin Store, like I mentioned before. And it comes with a little thermal sleeve. All right, so I plugged her in and let's see how fast this warms up. So I just turned the power button on and I'm going to turn it to 390 degrees. That's typically what I use. So let's see how quickly this heats up. And that's really good. It heated up in under two minutes at 390 degrees. And yeah, pretty nice. So let's give this a whirl. I've heated the iron up to 390 degrees and I'm going to start on the sides. First, I'm going to go under and then I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna continue this pattern as I go up through the top of my head.
I'm gonna create volume on the top and a little bit of softness on the side. Now what I'm trying to create is just more movement, a little bit of curl, a little bit of body. Now at the very end, I'm just gonna take my fingers and play with it. I'm gonna tuck one side behind my ear, have the other side out so it's a little asymmetrical. Kick the back out just a little bit. This is so cute. This iron is really easy to use, very easy to handle. Awesome grip on it. This was a very easy style to create. So I hope you enjoyed that little styling tutorial. Just remember whatever tool you're using, really get in there, use your hands, morph and change the more you play with it. Like the more I played with this, the more I was able to kind of pull it down on this side, tuck it on this side because it looked a little bit kind of too round in this area and I've talked about that before. In keeping a style more modern, you want to, from temple down, create smoothness and softness, kind of flatness against your face. And then from temple up is where you want to create volume. Well, with a curling iron like this, I wanted to like go under and then back to kind of make it flip out, but it's such a strong iron that the curl under kind of stayed a little bit too much. So practice makes perfect with something like this. Then being able to take my fingers and kind of play with it, just have fun with it. It's just hair. I feel like it's super cute, but I had to kind of play with it because this side was a little bit too round. So tucking it and then letting it kick out like this, I love it. I think it's so cute. It's very reminiscent of that kind of like 40s, 50s, vintage style. I love this type of style. Just super fun, just a little bit different. This is a really nice iron, you guys. Uh, I will link it down in the description box below. Easy to hold the grip on. It's very nice, very smooth, no tangles at all. This would even be good for longer hair. Tell me what you think of this hairstyling video and this hairstyle in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.